Today we'll be exploring what may on the surface seem like a simple question. What is art? Can you easily define art in your own words? I have asked myself this question while viewing art at galleries, museums, and fairs. Sometimes I'm truly in awe, and sometimes, I must admit, I don't know what to feel. I find myself thinking, is this art? According to the dictionary, art is the conscious use of skill and creative imagination, especially in the production of aesthetic objects, and judged for its beauty and meaningfulness, specifically painting, sculpture, drawing, and watercolor. Okay, has this made it any clearer for you? Not for me either. So let's dig a little deeper. The word art is derived from the Latin word ars, which meant a skilled work or craft demanding a high level of technical ability, including such skills as wood carving, weaving, goldsmithing, and embroidery, to name a few. Just think of it as works that could have been created by what we refer to as our present day artisans or craftspeople. This brings me to the question, is an artisan also an artist? It has been said that visual arts can range from the purely aesthetic to the purely utilitarian. Is this a contradiction? Can art exist in both realms or anywhere in between? This question has been associated with the age old debate of who can be called an artist. If something serves a specific function, such as a handmade bowl or cup, can it be called art? Is a beautiful bowl also art? What about a painting or photograph of the same bowl? Is that art? And who gets to decide? The term art in the way we are familiar with it today is first known to be used sometime in the early 17th century. The distinction between a fine artist and an artisan or craftsperson did not always exist. One reason why art is so difficult to define is that interacting with art is a deeply personal and subjective process, often evoking emotional responses and unique associations in each viewer, creating a highly individual experience. One's personality, predisposition, and background are all revealed when indulging in and determining what can be labeled as art. Also, the meaning and purpose of art can vary greatly. Some art is created with the intention of making political or social statements, recording history, or eliciting a specific emotion, while other types of art are created solely for the purpose of being beautiful or aesthetically pleasing. As we all know, the concept of beauty cannot be universally applied, although there's nothing wrong with any of these approaches. Different people, cultures, and societies have their own ideas about what qualifies as beautiful. Add to this that what is seen as art is constantly evolving. Take NFTs, for example. It's interesting to take a look at art that is now celebrated, but at one point was shunned or even ridiculed as not being art. In order to appreciate art, it is important to understand that it is not a fixed notion with a single perception. Art is a fluid and ever-evolving concept that is open to interpretation and personal experience we can and should continue to challenge traditional definitions of art. Rather than trying to pin down a universal theory, it is important to approach art with an open mind and allow ourselves to be affected by it in our own unique way. In the end, art is what you think and feel it is. Let's discuss this further in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. See you next time.